Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us, sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers, I hope you guys are doing good. So we got to talk about this viral story. So there's a young lady, her name is Sinai Garden. And basically what's going on is that about six days ago, I just happened to get onto TikTok early in the morning chat. I should have been damn sleep, but I was up and you know how TikTok is. When you go on there to see one thing, you end up scrolling. But as soon as I open up my TikTok, I see this young college student and basically she's on her way to go grocery shopping. She's doing a vlog and a homeless man asks her if she has any tea. And so she ends up stopping and befriending him. And, you know, for the next like hour or so, she's helping him out. She's trying to get a medication. And it was such a sweet video. And I don't really comment on a lot of TikTok videos, but I ended up leaving a comment on this video because it really had me in my feelings crying, honey, at like seven o'clock in the morning after watching this video. So as you guys see, she has 82,000 comments. And that's my comment there from six days ago with 16 likes. Hey, shout out to all 16 of y'all. <laughs> but anyways, I wrote this made me cry. God bless you, sis, because I just thought it was just so beautiful for her helping this man. And then she also filmed a video Video of her parents, you know, just really speaking life into her and just thanking her for helping somebody and for her to not be selfish. So this video was extremely, extremely touching, and we're gonna go ahead and watch some of it right here. Huh? Some tea. 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 Some hot tea. Some some hot tea. tea. Yeah. Yeah. From, From where? where? I'm walking to Trey Joe's. You wanna walk with me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we can stop by Starbucks or something. Yeah, how do I TikTok? Alright, so we want to go and see you guys real quick. So we in here. He about to uh show me where he gotta go. Cause he said he's in pain. So he just got insurance yesterday, but it takes forty five days for his insurance to be active. So I told him like I'm just gonna pay for it. So he got his medication. Do you recognize this one? I think this is the one you're supposed to have. I'm gonna ask him. So we have Starbucks now. Uh, what size do you want? Do you want like a a small one? Okay. Can I get a grande green tea, please? Okay. Here's your green tea. Do you want some napkins? So the previous we were just at only had one of the medications, but the one he really needs, they don't have it. And he's in pain. He literally cannot walk with me. So I told him, like, stay here. I'm going to walk to the other CVS. And I'm going to see if they got it. So I made it to the other CVS. And the guy was so nice. He gave us a heavy discount. He was like, I've got a good discount. And then I'm waiting for his prescription to get refilled. So I got to stay here and wait. Guys, I'm so happy they had his medicine. So I'm on my way to go find him right now. So they had your medicine. So I got your medicine. All right, so we switched. He's gonna push my cart, and then I'm gonna take his suitcase. He's talking about he's gonna go to a church. I said, no, I'm gonna get to a hotel room. But I know all these cars looking like, what the hell do they got going on? All right, yo, after an hour, we got uncle room. Okay, She's uncle so sweet. room. Mm. Oh, period. Period. Look at, Unc, I done got you a room and everything. You, This is your keys, Unc. Mm -hmm. I want you to enjoy yourself. Check out 11 o'clock. Here, give me some money. Okay. You got my number, right? You gonna be good? So, I love you too, Unc. Y'all, TikTok, we spent how many hours together, Unc? We spent we spend uh, I, 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 I haven't eaten all day. I'm, so, I'm hungry. I gotta go back to school. What kind of cancer you got? Uh -huh. Go ahead. Pro prostate. Come on. Prostate? Prostate. Okay. Yeah. So I got cancer, y'all. I wanted to help him. It was crazy because I was going to get my groceries delivered and I decided to go on a walk. Mm. And you were so nice. All you asked for was tea. You said, can, can I get some tea? That's all. And then you were so kind. I said, no, I want to do more for him. So I'm glad that you allowed me to help you. You were so kind to me. Mm -hmm. 
And I really hope everything gets better with you. I'm going to pray for you. Great. I give you my number. I look out for you. You got your prescriptions. Yes, you did. Um, I give you some money. So if you want to go get some food. You so I'm, I'm going to look for you, Unc. So I'm, I'm going to see if I can raise. Y'all, TikTok. We need to raise money for Unc, y'all. We need to help Unc out. Seriously. Well, say bye to my TikTok, Unc. Love you. I just got home. I just spent like four or five hours with him. I haven't eaten all day. I didn't actually grocery shop. Instead, I wanted to help him. I want to start a GoFundMe for him, y'all. Seriously. So hopefully this ends up on the right people. All right. So you guys just watched the video. And like I said, it had me in tears. I'm like, this is just so sweet for her to go out her way to help a homeless man, a random guy. It did kind of make me feel a little bit uncomfortable when she was in the hotel room with him. But just for the fact that, you know, she's so young, she doesn't know him. But, you know, I knew where her heart was at. And when I tell you that video went viral, it had millions of views and she was able to raise $400,000 for him, you know, which is such a blessing. So we're going to watch that news clip really quick. You see donations are pouring into a GoFundMe after a college student made a series of TikToks showing her helping one of her unhoused neighbors. Well, that GoFundMe has spiked. Okay, what the hell is unhoused? Like, can we stop being so politically correct? It's homeless and it's okay. That's not a bad word. Like, I just hate how like everything has like a stigma to it. Homeless, say it with me. That's what we were raised saying, unhoused. What? By more than $100,000 since we first told you about this on Friday. More than 72 hours later, it re it's reached $400,000. And prior to the donations, Sanaya Graydon used her own money to take the man Alonzo shopping for clothes and other necessities. Now she's hoping this money will help Alonzo's prostate cancer treatments, among other things. If you want to donate to that GoFundMe, you can head on over to our website, WUSA9. All right. So you guys just heard what the news had to say. So she did like a, another part two because I saw the part two in the shade room where she went and found him again. She took him shopping at Target. She got him a cell phone. You know, and people were like really happy, like people donated and really supported what she was doing for him. And she didn't want any of the money. She was like, all of this money is for him. People were like, no, you should take some of it for your schooling because she's a college student. But she refused. She said she just wanted to help him out. That's all it was about. Well, now we got some really disturbing news. So earlier today, um, I was sent an article and they're basically saying that that homeless man that Sanai was helping is super violent and he's attacked women in the past. So this is a really sad video and I'm really shocked by this. So we're gonna go ahead and watch this update really quick. It is a TikTok video of a college student in DC helping out a homeless man. It went viral and a GoFundMe campaign raised more than $400,000 to help him. But tonight questions are being raised about the man's alleged criminal history and Fox 5 Sierra Fox joins us live from Northwest with this exclusive report, Sierra. The man in that viral TikTok video goes by Alonzo. Tonight, I exclusively spoke with a woman who says here in D.C. years ago when she was homeless, he beat her up, and now she's only sharing the harrowing details with Fox 5. The attack was caught on camera, and we want to warn you, it may be difficult to watch. This is exclusive video you will only see on Fox 5. Police say Alonzo Douglas Hebron put a scarf over the victim's oh head God. while she was sleeping outside Foundry United Methodist Church. Oh. Then he started punching her face and body for several minutes. The brutal assault happened in June 2020 on Peace Street in Northwest D.C. I'm speechless. I do not understand how a human oh being can act God. like this. He's a sociopath. He does not have a sense of remorse. The victim, who wants to remain anonymous for safety reasons, says she woke up at the hospital not remembering what exactly happened to her. She's sharing these photos of the aftermath. Is this the man who assaulted you? Yep. The victim claims Hebron is known as a violent and dangerous person in the homeless community. That's why she says watching this viral TikTok video is triggering. I've been struggling since then. I'm a... Uh... An alcoholic in recovery. Uh, last week was my 18 months uh, anniversary. And the last two days, yeah, I came close. I didn't because uh, he's not worth it. After an hour, we got However, hour. she does not fault the young lady for trying to help someone. I was heartbroken. Heartbroken. Uh, I mean, first of all, kudos to the woman who did this. She meant well, and I do applaud her for that. 
Uh, I know it was a lot of work for her to do so. But portraying him as something he just simply isn't. Records reveal back in November 2012, Hebron was sentenced to five years in prison for stabbing a man in the neck with a screwdriver during a fight on Queen Street in Northeast D.C. Damn. The suspect's past also includes other assaults and robberies. According to D.C. courts, Hebron was released to a halfway house last year in June 2023. He escaped and then was returned by the U.S. Marshal Service. It's not clear when he was released. Why is he on the street? How many people does he have to hurt before? I'm sorry, it's locked up for good. He will not stop. I don't know what they're waiting for. Now, what's very disturbing is if you go down to the comments, this is the first comment on that news article. They say, everyone who donated to the GoFundMe needs a refund. Douglas is my first cousin and he's a career criminal. He has been violent all his life. The young lady who's trying to help him should be very careful. He could hurt her at any moment. He's not welcome near me or my family. I wouldn't donate 10 cents to help him. When I tell you God was with that girl, because I know when I watched it, I felt like, man, this is such a beautiful story, but it did make me uncomfortable with her going into the room with him. Now, granted, she was on TikTok, but if he wanted to do something to her, there's nothing we, the audience who are watching this live, can do for her. You know, so I just thank God that he didn't attack her. The fact that he's attacked somebody with a screwdriver, the way he jumped on a woman and was punching and assaulting her, he's a few eggs short of a dozen, clearly. And, you know, and I'm not trying to be funny, but maybe him getting that cancer diagnosis it might be because of all the bad things he's done to people. You know, now he's on the street homeless and begging and, and everything else. So I feel really bad that this is how the story is ending. This was such a feel good story. And I was so happy for her that she was able to raise the money that she was looking for. So I don't know what should happen now. You know, I don't know if GoFundMe is going to do something now that the news has investigated and they find out that he's a violent career, you know, criminal. Um, I don't know if people should just get a refund. I don't know. She should take the money because, you know, that's a lot of money. And that's what she wasn't raising it for herself. You know, should she get half? I don't know what should happen. But if what they're saying is true about this man, he should not get that four hundred fifty thousand dollars because he's done so much bad. So maybe I would say maybe she should get like maybe 50 grand, 100 grand of that money for her schooling and to better, you know, her education and stuff like that. And then maybe the rest can be donated to help, you know, batter women's shelters or just shelters in the D.C. area. I think that might be good. But if not, they may have to just refund the money. So the story is so sad how it just took this twist and turn. You know, unfortunately, it's really sad that out of all the homeless people that she could have helped, it was this man. And she she didn't know, you know. He just asked her for tea and she went above and beyond. So I, just, I know this has to be devastating for her because she seems like such a sweet young girl. So I feel really, really bad that now this is being reported about this, you know, this unk character that she was trying to help. So let me know what you guys think about this story. Did you guys see this story on TikTok? Did it tug at your heartstrings? Did you donate any money, you know, to this GoFundMe? What do you guys think should happen moving forward? Do you feel like the money should be given back to everyone? Or do you feel like the money should be given to the young woman? Like, what do you guys think? should happen. And then also, what do you guys think about this homeless man, them saying that he's a violent career criminal, you know, and him attacking that woman, like that was just really, really disturbing. So I look forward to reading everybody's comments down below. Make sure to hit this video with a like, feel free to share the video, make sure you still subscribe to this channel, and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.